to be a compassionate gentleman, but he is clearly out of his convent zone. He is one who needs to think more with his brain and less with his heart if he is going to defeat the contenders in this year's night tournament. Zounds! Did you just read my fortune? No, we're just very old and very judgmental people. It's true, we're judges. This is my judging face. Ariel and I don't read fortunes anymore. Yep, there was no future in it. Yeah, we couldn't tell fortunes if we wanted to. Some scoundrel stole our fortune table whilst we were watching the parade. Mm-hmm. You haven't seen anyone rolling around Devontree with our tabletop, have you? I I'm sorry. I, I couldn't find anyone to pay. A man was stranded in the forest and needed a wheel, so I borrowed your table and lent it to him. Oh, that's actually pretty clever. We can't be mad at that, can we? We were about to toss that old table anyway. Glad it's being put to use. Oh, thank the stars. We don't have to lock our doors anymore. I think we're safe now. Thanks for being honest, boy. Take a look around, boy. Let us know if you like anything you see. Something mysterious and magical was brewing in that pot. He reminds me of our son. <sighs> I always... It looked like some type of broken lantern. Ooh, what are these little guys? Those are bird bombs. Our own invention. Kind of like a smoke bomb, but they release gas that will cause your victim to cluck like a chicken. <laughs> Temporarily, of course. Those ones are expired, though, so they're just for display. He reminds me of our son. <sighs> I always miss him this time of year. What wisdom can we share today? Do you have any eyes of hideous beasts in stock? An eye, you say? Yes, yes. Uh, your name, please? Uh, it's Graham. Last name? Graham. Graham, Graham, with a G, I assume. Hmm. I don't see your name on this list. Oh, you did pre-order, right? Uh, pre-order? Oh, yes, this time of year our eyes fly off the shelves. If you haven't pre-ordered, you're out of luck. Our eyes are completely on back order. If you'd like, we can put you on the waiting list for our next shipment. When will that arrive? We get shipments every eight months. I'm afraid that won't work. Well, hang on a sec. It's Graham, right? May we bend your ear for a bit? Bend away. You need an eye for the tournament, I'm guessing. Yes, I have always dreamed of becoming a knight. Why? With Daventry's addendums this and proclamations that, it seems a frightful business. Do you have any idea how many royal guards we lose to that voracious moat monster? Well, my father was a knight, and my grandfather was a knight, and my great-grandfather... Well, he was a dentist, but his father was a knight. Basically, I come from a long line of protecting crowns. I started looking for knight jobs while I was still in the academy, but once I graduated, all the opportunities had dried up. I might not fit in here, but Daventry's my last shot. Oh, you'll fit in just fine. It might be too late to capture the rule-defined eye of a hideous beast, but rules will bend for those who can outsmart the rule makers. Ooh, how much for that candle? Our everlasting blue flame lantern? The housing's broken. Someone brought it in for repair but never paid. Tell you what, if you bring us something we can hollow out to house the candle, you can have it for the price of one shiny gold coin. So, I've just got to know, what is brewing in that cauldron? Is it a transfiguration elixir? Is it an invincibility potion? If I drink it, will I understand the language of creatures? Will I sprout the wings of an eagle? Or a fly? Oh, this? 
thief whitening potion. Oh, it's got to change everything. Watch this. Behold the power of whitening! Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well, we'll still work out the kinks. While we're still in the prototype phase, feel free to dip whatever you want in there free of charge. How's that teeth whitening potion coming? While we're still working on it, you can dip whatever you want in it for free. No guarantees it'll come out white, though. Fare thee well. Always look on the smart side of life. Wish that teeth whitening potion would have worked. I'd never brush my teeth again. I'm not sure that's how it works, sweetheart. What are these little guys? Those are bird bombs. Our own invention. Kind of like a smoke bomb, but they release gas that will cause your victim to cluck like a chicken. <laughs> Temporarily, of course. Those ones are expired, though, so they're just for display. If I could bring the hobble pots something to hollow out and house that glowing blue candle, I could have that lantern, for the price of one shiny gold coin, of course. He reminds me of our son. <sighs> I always miss him. Hello there, and good afternoon! Um, forgive the shop from lacking our usual favorites. With all the bridges out and my supplier missing, I can't keep all my delicious treats stocked. But uh, have a look around. I'm here to answer any questions. The sign read, ask us about our free samples. The sign read, ask us about our free samples. Oh, custard? Oh, just like my mom used to make. Oh, I'm saving that pie for a special occasion. Uh, sorry. Was he trying to set the record for the world's biggest pie? Oh, hope you're hungry. Got any free samples? Oh, today only. I'm letting people sample our new walnut strudel. However, I ran out of bitter root. It's really nasty on its own, but it really brings out the nutty flavor of the strudel. It usually grows under big, heavy rocks. If you can find me some, you can have all the free samples you want. That's not a delicious, chocolate, hideous beast side cake I smell cooking, is it? Looking for an eye, are you? Well, it must be that time of year again. Frankly, I can't tolerate it. The Fays weren't raised that way. It's archaic! So much fighting and needless killing! Compassion comes from the heart, you know? As does food! If you want to get to the heart of any problem, all you need is pie! You look like a compassionate fella, uh, like myself. And I think we're going to get along right as raisins. Uh, please, don't take part in the violence. What's today's special? <laughs> oh, well, today I am baking up quite the treat. Grandma's star shroom pie. A delicacy big enough to feed an army or someone with the appetite of an army. I've eaten it in one sitting before. Well, don't judge. No one would trust a skinny baker, now would they? Unfortunately, my ingredients haven't been delivered, and I can't complete the recipe. 
Until those bridges get fixed, people will just have to settle for the love in my goat hoof pie instead. Ah, tell you what. If you can find me some starberries and sugar shrooms, you can have this monster pie for the discounted price of one gold coin. So, where can I find the ingredients for that giant pie? I'll also need one gold coin. But which ingredient? The sugar shrooms. They are pink and only grow in cold, dark areas. The starberries. They are yellow and uh, tend to grow high on trees in sunny areas. The sugar shrooms. They are pink and only grow in cold, dark areas. Never mind. Good day. Have a crepe day. The sign read, ask us about our free samples. If you like sharp things, you've come to the right place. We have over 23. Oh, forgive me. Last night was a little rough. I woke up on the floor, my bed nowhere to be found. Can you believe that? What type of Yahoo steals a bed while you're sleeping in it? And the most curious part, nothing else is missing. Usually that sleep depriver would be hunted down and fed to the crumbler. But today is different. Today, I got a pretty great tip in my jar for no reason. Someone out there must have wanted to show appreciation for the Wetzel Watch program. Anyway, take a look around. Let me know if something piques your interest. You can post a work order on anything you want lifted, chopped, or crumbled. Then I'll bring out Mrs. Crumbler to fulfill the order. Back away from the Crumbler. Unless you have 50 gold coins for a work order. How much for that twisty dagger over there? It's not for sale. Needs a bit more work. So, you know what you want? Do you have any idea where I can hunt down an eye of a hideous beast? What a glorious day for a tournament. My favorite time of year. Fire ride new recruits, the clanks and clinks of armor clashing, and the action the very finest. One hopeful always rises to the occasion. I love it all. Some people in town, they complain about the barbaric events, but it's a tradition I'm proud to be a part of. If I was competing, I'd go after the biggest, scariest beast I could find, even if it meant certain death. As they say, fortune favors the bold. You, on the other hand, have a kind heart. Probably wouldn't blind a beast just to win a competition. Your arms look like they've never even held a bow. No, you're just too nice. But perhaps you'll prove me wrong. So, I've been meaning to ask. What is that amazing blade for? Is it for battling vicious werebears? How many ice orcs has it slain? Does it deal justice? Is it road legal? Is it made of fear? Oh, that? No, no, that's for gardening. I use it to trim my hedges. Seeing as my place is all tended to, and my petunias are most lovely, I'm willing to part with it for the price of one shiny gold coin. I'm sure you've got a prickly situation that needs attending. How much for that gardening tool? One shiny gold coin. How much for that gardening tool? One shiny gold coin. Bye. Forget what those other guys say. A sword is mightier than a pen. Did you do it? Did you spend your only gold coin on the epic weed whacker? I did. The bowl costs a fortune. 
Now, Graham, promise me you will only use this for its intended purpose. I shall be brave in all my hedge trimmings. Those plants will never see it coming.